geeks to the Westchester community. We're excited for your unique business model and uh, looking forward to partnering with you and supporting you as you grow and thrive. So I know Paul wanted to say a few words before we get busy with the big scissors. <laughs> All right, so I just wanted to dedicate this grand opening to the innovators, to the people who are the early adopters for technology, the people who go out and get the devices and plug in cables and try to figure out what technology can do for us in the real world, long before the general public even has any idea what this stuff will do. I want to dedicate it to the YouTubers, to the Facebookers, and all the people out in QVC down the street who are on the big cable television uh, networks, everybody in between. I'm just so excited to be part of an industry right now where social media and video communications are converging to create business opportunities for a company small and large. So I'd be remiss not to mention our YouTube viewers, our Facebook viewers, our community that we supports us. It's your engagement with our video content that drives the conversation forward for live streaming experts around the world. So without further ado, I also want to mention Tess Protesto, my co-host. Tess, come here. Go ahead. Tess is the co-host. Um, Tess actually helped me name the company Stream Geeks uh, one year ago. And uh, we've been nothing but just growing and having so much success. Michael Luttermoser, who is a video producer, he's been in the industry for 10 years. Mike's on the camera, obviously. And uh, the Westchester Chamber of Commerce in Westchester for being really the home for a new young tech startup. And welcoming to, a, like you said, kind of a different type of business and business model. And congratulations, and we're thrilled to uh, be able to support your team and, and welcome you to Westchester. Let's get busy. All right, let's do it. Here we go. All right. Here we go, guys. Come on in. Sure. Dan, you want to jack it in? Yeah. Set. And cut. Yeah! Woo! Yeah. 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 Oh, thank you so much for watching, everybody tuning in, staying in uh, throughout the whole process. Shout out to everybody out there watching. Um, it's been so much fun. Let me just say a few things to people in the chat. Hi John, hi Scott, hi Kyle. This is all about you guys coming in via YouTube. We've got, how many, we've got 62 people watching. So we've got about 100 times more people than are actually here online. And that's the power of live streaming. That's why we do this. Um, to connect small business like this to 60 to 100 people around the world, it's just an incredible technology allowing us to spread our message, spread our, this is just proof in the pudding exactly the thing, the why we do this is for you guys watching at home. So I'm just keeping my eye on the chat here. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Hi Scott, Kevin, Drew. Hugh, Kyle, everybody here. I think it came out great. Thank you, Joyce, for providing the live view solo. This is how we can go from indoor live streaming to go outside with 4G networks and hotspots, no problem. And of course, everyone else that was involved is just, just, just a fun show. So we're gonna show you guys the studio. Let's go on inside and do the final tour. I believe it. Thank you, Paul. Restaurant. Thanks. Thanks. I appreciate it. Come on in, guys. Let's do the studio. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, there, there were people So, we've got an awesome studio to show you guys. For this video, which is being posted on YouTube later, cue the amazing B roll. All right, we're going to, that's for uh, post production later. Cool. All right, so everyone that's watching. Hi. Hi, from, hi Dave from Snowy Minneapolis. Patrick, how you doing? Oh, Patrick, he's looking at you and your lights. These are the new lights. So really quickly, I'm going to take you guys through one last little tour, answer any questions you want. All you got to do, the Verizon one popped out. All you got to do is pop it back in. So we'll pop the Verizon hotspot back in. I, that happened to me when I was at CES. <laughs> but the quality is still good because we've got AT&T. We've got Wi-Fi. So one of the things that we have set up here is the PTZ Optics producer kit. And the producer kit runs off the Intel Nook Skull Canyon. This is an i7 processor that brings in the video from SDI from the camera. So we've got the cameras right here. I can actually control the cameras from an Xbox joystick. This is a geek favorite. Uh, the geeks love controlling the cameras with an Xbox joystick. Here's one here I'll show. Do, do, do. Uh, zoom in, zoom out. Um, with an Xbox joystick, geek favorite. Hi, Wade. Actually pretty amazing how cleanly it transitions from the entire space, inside and out. That was one of the main things I wanted to show. 
Uh, we've got our joystick controller here. So we've got our old, I'd call this old school, but this is serial control, no network needed. It just works every time. Everybody loves these. They really control the camera as well. And gives us the ability to stream directly. We're using vMix right now, using a full screen. So we've got, we're powering two displays. So this Intel Nook, we've really stress tested. And we've actually tried it with six live cameras, a multi-quarter, meaning we're, stream, we're recording all the cameras at once, streaming to multiple destinations, doing video conferencing at the same time. Bring, and what I mean by that is bringing in the remote guest and um, all of that with this system. And it's great. Let's go to the next one. Uh, oh, we're going we're gonna to wrap up the stream. We're going to wrap up the stream. Alright, just a couple last things for the live stream. We also are showing here OBS. So this is the free, open, not open source, but somewhat open source live streaming system here. And of course we're showing that off as well. And this brings in the video streams from the broadcast studio, but also allows us to bring in local sources as well to, I'll show you hidden over here, an Intel Nook PC. So you see these little Intel Nooks are definitely part of the whole process. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna finish up and show you guys the last thing in case you guys missed it. Last couple things. All branded decor. Last couple things because anyone who just signed on, I know a lot of you. Don't forget to subscribe by the way. Uh, this right here. Hi Drew. Drew loves the Intel Nook. Joyce says quality looks amazing even with the Verizon card out. Um, one of the last things I wanted to show is uh, this is Tessa's beauty streaming area. So what you're going to see a lot of uh, coming up soon is I think it would be really cool in the pre-show to be showing how we can actually be, you know, getting gussying up, if you will, getting the makeup on. Because high-end broadcast studios, you got to remember, they put on makeup. And as we get more and more high-end, more and more... Uh, professional, we need to, to live in that world. So we're going to come in here, apply makeup. The pharmaceutical, not pharmaceutical industry, the cosmetic industry is a multi-billion dollar industry trying to leverage some of these video technologies. Why is video so important? I don't even have to tell you why. It just makes sense. A couple more studios and then we're going to go meet with the chamber here. So basically. So this is one of my favorite spaces here. Um, I don't know if you guys saw this yet, but this is our Reflect Media setup. We showed this in the pre-show in case those of you guys who didn't shine, sign up yet. Look, look at how well the chroma key works with just two little lights. Honestly, these lights are just for the talent. Um, take a look at how good the chroma key looks. Um, we've got the chroma key on this screen over here. I mean, look at that. Floor to ceiling, you can see my feet. It really looks like I'm standing here in a library. We've also got it on a really cool set there. And I mean, just look at that. Very simple setup. It's called, it's called reflective green screen material. It, re it actually eliminates green spill, green screen spill. And I just found out about it so much better than a normal green screen. It really works so much better. You can see here, it's set up right here. Um, this goes over the camera and allows you to set that up. And then finally, the last spot before Tess is going to make me uh, and teach them about live finish the screen, but last spot so here is the studio. Is so you guys, you guys have all seen the live streaming studio. Not a whole lot new here, except a couple small things, which I'll mention. Um, finally got the video output running on this computer. How? All right, there's a little magical thing over here that, I'm gonna, that Magewell came out with called a mini repeater, an HDMI 4K mini repeater I'll be showing, talking about more in the stream. This is where we do our live shows. But this is where we do our live shows, obviously. All right, um, I'll explain it to you guys too. So we've got six cameras here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, if you actually, file into the studio, and uh, that's kind of how the um, that's kind of how the big street, kind of like QVC, right? It's kind of like any business can have their own QVC setup. Huh? That's the idea. Um, and it's all streaming right now. Lighting is really important, so we've got a bunch of lights. 
And uh, yeah, we, we almost spent over a quarter million dollars, if you could believe that. Um, Here? Yeah. Well, no, the whole office. The whole office. There's, but yeah, because we have a ton of lights. There's more lights than you could probably count. There's cameras on the ceiling, cameras on the wall. Um, so right here you can kind of see, we just have it set up so it's rotating through the different shots. But um, basically Google is saying that 80% of the internet is going to be video by 2020, right? Um, there is nothing better than video for marketing. If you have a web page with no video and a web page with video where you're expecting someone to buy something, like 70% uh, higher purchase rates, when people can just click a video and see what they're actually learning about. We all know it's true. Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg is saying that Facebook is going to be 90% video in 2020. Wow. And live video is the thing that really is authentic. So what a lot of us have come to realize is like watching advertisements on television, what happens when you watch an ad on TV? You just mute it and you just look at something on your phone for 30 seconds. Or you, you mute it and you turn on radio or something. But when we're talking about like getting on a phone, which is where most people are today, smartphones, um, the ability to have live video is authentic. It's real. You can ask a question and your favorite YouTuber will actually answer you. Um, so it's just, it's just exploding. The industry is just exploding. So we're actually able to have a business where we don't actually sell any product. <laughs> we're just do consulting. Um, and we just help people out, connect people with our referral partners. Uh, we're able to have a really successful business where we don't even like are just us here just streaming every week. <laughs> That's how big the industry is. Huh. <laughs> As you guys know, paid? the live like viewers. Who, uh, like... So we have referral partners. So right. basically what happens is, and this is, this is the way I think all businesses should do their marketing, is you shouldn't be going up there and saying, buy what I sell, buy what I sell. It's no, like, like focus on, here's a customer that is using it and like do like an incredibly soft sell. Don't, don't even sell, help, right? So every single show that we do, we have 25 shows, that, one hour shows that we've already been doing for the past year. Every single show is, here's how your business can do this. And so it's, it's instructional, it's educational. We don't actually go up there and say, hey, buy this, buy that. But then when we're teaching people and growing a giant community of people who are saying, wow, these people are giving us value, 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 then they come in and they say, wow, like when I need to buy something, who the heck am I going to call? Or who am I going to ask? And then they end up coming to us and we say, well, you know, let's refer them to this company or that company and just become the, it's called a, being a, basically a thought leader in the space. Sometimes you have to find a person in your business who's willing to be the host or the person on camera. That the, seems to be the biggest problem <laughs> people we, we, because I'm like, oh, I don't want to be on camera. Well, it's like, all right, well, then your business is probably going to fail because your competitors are going to do that. Hmm. So you got to find somebody, like Tess is, was a Westchester University graduate, and she studied social media. Her, you, her professor's on her way here. But um, I was like, do you mind getting on camera? She's like, no, no problem. And then it's informal selfie streams on Facebook, and then you, you boost the video for like $10. And we could just choose like the Westchester area, and for ten dollars you boost it to like five thousand people. You know, and two percent of them say, oh, you know, I'm interested in that, and it just grows and grows and grows. Hmm. As you guys know, there's more, way more people watching the live stream than are actually here right now, right. Um, and that I think is the biggest testimony to what this technology can do. Because not everybody can just fly out here right now. You know, we've got people watching from. Australia right now. We've got people in, you know, Canada, all over the United States, and they can't fly to Westchester. Yet they all have a personal relationship with us and tune in every week. And you know, I know them. We email them. Tess always says, "Oh, thanks for being on the chat." Like right now, I can just see right now. Hi, Laura. Hi, Power to Sing. Hi, Have Vision. Hi, Drum the Media, who's in Ireland. Like I, we know these people. We build relationships with them. And there's no better platform to build a relationship than face-to-face -face video. That's my pitch, but just uh, <laughs> we're, we're going to wrap up the live stream, everybody.